Um, I'm remembering uh, an incident with my uncle who played the clarinet, and we were at my mother's house in New Jersey, and uh, he had a store in New York City sold sold and repaired musical instruments, so he was kind of a rough talker sometime. Anyway, he, he was telling some joke, and it involved uh, a, a lady who was a royalty in another country um, talking to the soldiers, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the, the joke, he used the F word. So my mother and my aunt went, <gasps> And you know what? He never said it again in front of women in the family. Never. So this makes me think that the reason bad words are so common now is because us older people, it, you know, we, we don't say anything. So it's like socially acceptable. Now, I was in a health food store a year or two ago, a big health food store, and this man uh, used the F word. He was just walking past me on his phone. So I, so I did this very loud. I went, oh, ow, no cursing. And he thought I was the weird, the look on his face, like I was the weirdest uh, creature in the world. And he just like looked at me like, like I was worthless. And he kept walking on, talking, talking on the phone. So, but what if everyone that did that would do that? I mean, things would slowly change, no? Now, um, I, I've seen people, uh, you know, touching their, their private parts uh, over their clothes in public, and uh, nobody says anything. So, I, and... and and the other thing is changing the meaning of words so that you have to be so so careful of what you say. Uh, I mean, you know, you just say a normal thing and, you know, they have this uh, urban dictionary online. It's like the alternative meaning to normal words. Um, everything is uh, mixed up. And then I think the only uh, entity that has an advantage for language to be constantly chaining, changing are the, uh, the dictionary publishers because they have to put out a new one every year. I mean, it's to their benefit, right? So I, I wish we would all just uh, speak uh, the original language and not have any slang. You know, slang started out as the language of criminals because they wanted to hide what they were doing from the general public, their potential victims, and they wanted to hide what they were doing to uh, the police authorities. So uh, that's how things started, like instead of money or dollars, all of a sudden it's dough. You got any dough? When are we going to go get the dough? You know, And so much slang. Now, now some of it's funny. And I can see it being in a movie because it makes the, the movie funnier. But for it to turn into a normal language that you would use anywhere, that you would use in a job interview, that you would use if you're meeting uh, the mayor and if you're, you're meeting some political figure, I mean, you're meeting your future in-laws, I mean, it, it's just wild. So instead of us teaching younger people how to speak better, we have to learn all these new words so we know what the young people are talking about. They're not supposed to be the leaders. We are supposed to be the leaders. Think about it.